If you have tried to change your team analytics, you might have heard that changing the team is impossible. I have heard it and I even contacted Wix and they told me that themselves. It is actually not impossible, it's quite simple and I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. So before we start, I just want to let you know that if you encounter any problems doing this, I will be more than happy to assist you. Just contact me, I will leave my contact information below. And if you have any other questions, feel free to write them in the comment section. And also, if you like this video, please show it by giving it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel. So with that out of the way, let's get to work. So this is the template I want to change. This is uh, for a fictional bookstore I just made up. Let's call it Bookstore 1. And I personally think that this template looks very good, but we are going to change it anyway. So let's find ourselves a new template. Uh, we go to Wix dashboard. And we click the drop down menu and we click create a new site. This is a bookstore. And we click next. We also tell Wix the name of our business so they can implement it any way needed on the site. On the next page, we get the option to add elements to our site. This is a bookstore, so we want the online store option. We also want to chat and the events. We can also add bookings, blogs, portfolios, and more. So we only want form for now, but we can add the others later. So this next window here might not look the same on your screen as it does here on mine. Uh, Wix uh, likes to change this page around, but don't worry, find something similar. But on this side, we click begin with a template. And here we get a bunch of templates to choose from. You can browse or filter these until you find one you like. We are just going to go for the first option here and click edit. This window might be like this for a while. How long depends on which team you chose and how many elements you added. And here's our new template. It looks quite good. If we want this to be our new site, great. We just go into our premium subscription. And assign our previous plan and domain to this site. But this will not include all of your products or blog posts you already have made on the previous template. So why don't we just copy the elements you want from this template to our existing one. Let me show you how to do that. So if you already have content on your site, I recommend that you just pick elements from this template and paste it in your site. Let me just show you how to do it on the header. We just copy the header from this, we mark it by holding in our left mouse button. And we go back to our existing site where we delete the header and we paste this in. Uh, you can also copy the entire page by going to pages and menu and click copy on the page you want to copy and go to our existing site and just click Control V on our keyboard. I will show you another way of doing it. I just had to reset all the changes we have done so far. I can show you this so that you know how to fix it yourself. I click Site and I click Release Manager and we go to Site History. And here we can find all of our published version of the site. Because we want to go all the way back, we choose the first one. We click on this small arrow and we click on the blue button that says restore and we click restore again. And we want to edit site. We then give this a few seconds. And we are back. Now I'm going to show you how to get the entire team over. We go to Pages and Menu, and you copy any page you want by right-clicking on it and click Copy. 
and make sure that you select site menu. We right click and select paste and apply team. Keep in mind that if there is a bigger size difference on the header and on the footer, you have to copy that manually as we did earlier. So this is how you find and copy a team on Wix and how to also include elements that didn't come over automatically. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.